G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. Um, today I thought I would do something a little different. Um, you might be able to see behind me I have the HRU216 M1 here and the HRX217 HYU here. Um, what I thought I'd do was pretty much just a quick comparison video of, um, you know, lots of similarities and differences in them, which one I like better, all that kind of thing, because I have had quite a few questions in the past couple of days, especially on Instagram, saying, you know, why did you get the HRU216, you know, you've got the HRX217, what's the difference, you know, do you really need it? Um, this video is pretty much telling you why. Um, so, I don't know, let's, let's go over here. Um, so, I mean, can you guys see me? Can you? Yeah? Um, firstly, they're um, both great mowers. Um, I don't know. Let's see down here. They're, they're both great mowers. I love them. I love them both. Um, if I had to pick one, I probably couldn't. Um, they've both got things that are really good with them. And then they've both got other things that aren't so good with them. Um, so, obviously I've already done a full review and cold start on the HRX217, um, which you guys will have seen. And I'll do one on the HRU216 once I've uh, put a few more hours on it. Um, it's currently at 0.9 and we've got 7.4 on the HRX. Um, I was, I was happy that I installed this hour meter before I even started using it, so it's, it's logging exactly how much time I've been using it in my business. Um, not skipping probably three or four, maybe even five or six hours of use probably. Actually, even more than that, probably over ten hours of use has been missed on this because I only installed the hour meter recently and I've been using it for a lot longer than that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I guess, you know, let's, um, oh, I don't know what we should start on, guys. What should we start on? Should we do the 216 or the 217 first? I've got a feeling maybe we should, um, maybe we should start with the 216. Let's do that. Um, so obviously it's a 2015 model, so it's, Two years old now, um, nearly. It'll be nearly two years old. Um, obviously, it's an August 2015 model, so in a couple of months it'll be two years old. Um, it's a really great mower. It's commercial. It's the full commercial model. It's um, top of the top. Um, you can't get any better than this in Australia. So this is the best of the best. Obviously, it is an outdated model now. Um, but, oh, sorry, it's really cold here. Um, but it's, um, it's the top of the range, and it probably will be for a long time. HRX217 is a premium residential mower, Honda call it. Um, so, you can already tell by its name, it's intended for residential use. Maybe light commercial, very light commercial, like if you're a handyman or so on, you know and you, you're not doing full on mowing all the time, this will probably, it won't be a bad mower, but if you're, or if you're just starting out and you've only got, I don't know, five or six lawns, um, it, it'd do it, but it's really not meant for all day, every day use. Um, I do like the Versimo system on it, I do like that. Um, I like the net side deck because although it's plastic, it's really light, so it's easier to get in and out of the car. And it's also, it's, um, it's very tough. It's not like thin, crappy plastic that's just going to break when it hits a twig. Um, this stuff holds up, you know, you can hit rocks, fences, anything with this. And it'll just go, okay, just bounce back. Um, I really, really like the variable speed control on here. There's nine speeds as opposed to three, and it goes fast. This thing will go six and a half k's an hour, whereas this one can probably only go three or four in the top gear. 
um, you can see I usually mow about there, which, you know, that's almost in the middle of the range, and it's, it's faster than that at the top. Um, I like the 88 litre catcher, um, this is only 70, but this is 88, um, it's good, what I don't like is um, it's sloped so much that a lot of the grass doesn't actually stay in the back, it just all kind of gathers around here, and so it's kind of useless, but you know, Honda's got a lot of, uh, they've got quite a number of things I think that us lawnies have told them about. Um, how long it takes before they actually listen to us, who knows, but if they ever listen, that is. Um, it's got belt drive, I believe. I haven't touched the belts, but it's got belt drive, apparently, so, meh. Um, yeah. Um, positives on the... Yeah, let's just do all the positives and all the negatives. Um, positives I like about the HAU216. Um, it's top of the top commercial, obviously. Um, so it's, it's built for what I'm using it for. Um, I really like that because um, this mower, the HRX, it just wasn't, it wasn't able to meet my needs, um, which is kind of disappointing. Well, it was, I, I lie, it was. It's just not anymore. Because um, obviously what I'm doing is not just your light handyman job anymore. I'm actually, you know, guys, I've got, 20 something clients now so I'm actually I'm actually needing this to perform better um, I'm needing something that can handle the abuse it can be thrown in and out of a trailer six or seven times a day um, yeah it, it needs to stand up to what I'm using it for so that's why I really like the GXV 160 engine on it because it's five and a half horsepower and it's really strong it's all metal so there's no, you know, faffing around with cheap plastic that just, you know, it can bend. Whereas, oh, you try and bend that, you're not going to do much. Um, it's got a nice big air filter, which I explained in yesterday's video. The snorkel that goes up under here. Um, again, originally put on Victor mowers and designed by the dude who invented Victor mowers. Um, because it's the Australian climate, it's often so dusty, especially when you've got all the dust and everything being thrown around near the blades and air filter down here like on the HRX it's just going to gather dust constantly but having it up here where it's away from all the dust being thrown around down there um, sounds stupid but it actually works and it works well so um, that's something I like about it so it means you don't have to, ch to change the air filter as often it still has the oh, this bloody thing just keep, keep running from me isn't it um, it's got the still has the um, flap on it, the rubber flap. I don't particularly like how when you try and pull the mower back, especially while on the grass, it folds underneath. See? And then when you go forward again, it doesn't really want to go back again. You see that? So you've actually got to lift it up and then move it forward for it to do anything, which is kind of annoying. Because um, obviously, with a mile weighing 58 kilos, I don't want to be constantly lifting it every time I turn the bloody thing. Um, it's got a single lever height adjuster. I love this. It's got a lot of choices. You can see there's lots of different heights as opposed to, what, four on here? Um, no, it's not four. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, seven. Seven height adjusters on here. Um, it's got a one and a half litre fuel tank as opposed to 930 mils, I believe. Um, so that's really nice. It's got um, shaft drive in here, you can see. It's got a wash port, solid steel deck, so it's, you know, not much is going to stuff that up. Um, it's got the multi plug, which I don't have here. You know, I forgot about it. I was going to bring it out and then I did it. Um, Nice big discharge chute, um, big starter rope, you can see the difference, and even the handle as well, you can see the difference between this and this. This is thin and crappy and flimsy, you can already see it's starting to wear on here. They're both the same age, pretty much. Um, this is a September 2015 model, this is an August 2015 model, 
This one's slightly older and it's got way less wear on the thing. Um, yeah, so um, nudge bar as well. So you can use this as a lifting aid and also prevents the um, chassis from being damaged um, if you run into something at a high speed, which won't happen because this thing's so slow. Um, okay. Um, oh, yeah, manual choke. So, you know, none of that auto choke bull crap you get on the HRX where, you know, you go have a running for five minutes or something and then you can turn it off. So you just leave it in high. Um, I'll see, I'll start this up afterwards. Um, I'll start both of them up actually. I had them running yesterday just to have a sound comparison. Um, I have adjusted the revs on this guys as well. I've adjusted it uh, down two notches. On there you can see. I've adjusted, it was at the very top notch here. And I've adjusted it down two. So it, it sounds a lot more like this now than this. Um, so you might have noticed in yesterday's video, it was kind of like a kind of sound. It's now, it revs a lot harder. Um, I don't know why Honda hasn't. I honestly think they should have it adjusted the way I have now and a lot of other lawnies have now. I think that should be the factory setting, but for some reason they don't. I did hear from one guy who said, I can't remember who it was, commented that it's because um, these Hondas, these GX V160 engines are optimized at the factory to produce their highest torque at the factory RPM setting or something like that but from what a lot of guys out there have been saying where this thing just won't catch grass because it can't throw far enough um, you know seems pretty lame to me Honda does have pretty much every lawn care guy over here that I know has been complaining to them about oh you know the like the tiny rear shoes and everything. It's not too bad on the 21 inch models, but it's horrible on the 19 inch. I mean, it's tiny, guys. Um, it's, I don't know why they put that on there. Because they say, they say it, um, it's supposed to help the catching performance. And I don't know whether that's because they think, oh, you know, if we make the shoot smaller, it's going to, force the clippings through faster. But the fact is it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry Honda, but you know, it just doesn't work that way. Um, what ends up happening is that shoot, especially on the 19 inch models, just gets blocked really quickly. And then you've got to constantly stop to unclog it and everything. And you just don't have time when you're running a commercial business to handle that. Um, now to dislikes, I guess. Um, Start with the HA216. Um, the speed, three speed gearbox, I hate that. I don't know why they couldn't have the HRX style infinitely variable speed gearbox on it. This is just like so limiting. You would have thought this would be the kind of thing you'd see on a more residential model once you'd see that on this, but you don't. I don't know why. Um, also, I hate how low the factory rev settings were, um, but I've already talked about that and that's fine now. Um, other than that, there's not much else to hate about it. I mean, it's just an overall really great mower. So, I don't know what those blokes are doing out there. Sorry, guys. Doing something. Pretty... Oh, they might be, um... Could they be grinding a tree stump or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, it's very heavy, obviously, but again full-on aluminium deck, so I can't complain. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the micro-cut system on the HRX. I really like that um, as well, and the Versmo and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's really anything else that's bad about this mower. It's just that, you know, it's bloody slow. That's all. Um, bad things about the HRX. Mm. Um, Four-wheel height adjuster can get annoying. Um, residential engine, hate that. Um, tiny fuel tank, don't like that either. Um, although the Nexite deck is lighter, it's not the 
greatest for them. God, that is loud. It's not the greatest for commercial use, but again, it's not a commercial mower, so I can't really speak about that. Um, the wheels are kind of flimsy. You'll see in one of my previous videos, I think I showed that the wheel came off. Like, I'm talking literally just fell off and started rolling down the driveway. Um, so, I wish they made those a bit tighter. I don't think that's going to happen with these. You can see they're a lot more solid, you know. That's really solid, whereas that it just kind of moves everywhere. Um, I do like the better torque in this one, so it, it revs harder than this one did at factory setting. So, it it caught the grass a lot better. I don't think, is there an RPM adjuster on this? I don't think there is, no. Um, uh, maybe, mm, no, I don't think there is. Um, but yeah, so, I um, didn't like that. But anyways, um, enough of that, I'll just put the camera down and um, I'll show you guys the improved performance. Um, Cause it's, um, I, I already mowed my lawn yesterday with this, but um, I'll just kick on the blades for you so you can hear the difference because it's a really noticeable difference. If you um, go back and listen to yesterday's video, you, you go, oh god, yeah, that's that's a lot of a change. Um, oh, sorry. So let's um, wind you guys up a little bit. Ooh. Um, There we are. So, this is a cold start. Um, it hasn't been started since yesterday. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's... I'll prove it. It's cold. It's, it's kind of cold. It gets really cold here. You can probably hear me shivering before. Not me shivering, but, you know. Um, that might be helpful. We'll go make that mistake again. I'll just check the fuel quickly. I, I filled it all the way up yesterday. Um, but, yeah, um, so it shows on. See if it starts first book this time. I think it will. Yeah, there we go. See, you can hear it rest a lot harder now. Um, so it sounds a lot nicer. Um, Thank you. 
So that's the um, increased revs on the GXV. Uh, crap, I forgot about our clothes hanging up there. I'm probably going to stink now. But anyways, um, I'll rev the Honda, or well, kick on the blades of the uh, HRX217 just to show you the difference. back end of a um, dustpan and brush brush um, that works too um, so as you can see before even while I was running the blades this thing has a lot better speed now compared to um, when it was um, way down on RPMs um, <coughs> but yeah um, so that's I guess pros and cons of each one um, but you can tell yeah this one's definitely a lot more commercial grade this one's not so um, yeah, thinking back now guys, looking at the two, both pretty much the same age, one month difference, both guys said they used them residentially, the guy I bought the HRX from said he was, he, he was the only one that used it, he only used it residentially on his property, but you know. I know the guy who owns this pressure cleaned it every second use and washed it after every use, but seriously guys, like, is that just me or what? Like either this guy's fantastic at looking after his machines and this guy's just really shit at it, or this thing's been used commercially, which is what I'm thinking, and he lied to me, and this guy's telling the truth. Because again, I say, I, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos, all this here, all that orange stuff around here, that means the entire engine's been stripped apart. And also, the issue why we've got the wire brace here for the, um, because the front cowling kept lifting up, because this front nut was broken, you know, that, you, you couldn't possibly do that unless you're an extraordinary idiot. You couldn't possibly do that being a residential guy, like seriously. So, yeah, I'm kind of pissed I've lied to, I think, about the HRX 217, but I mean, it still works. It still runs fine. It's just uh, I, I wasn't exactly told the truth. But I tell you what, looking at them in comparison, guys, this one's filthy. Oops, sorry. This one's filthy, and I wash that regularly as well. So, I'm going to see how clean I can keep the Honda. The um, 216 It's probably not going to stay clean for long, but... I want to keep it modestly clean. I don't think I can put in the determination to wash it after every use like the um, previous owner did, but I'll, I'll do my best. I reckon I'll wash it um, at the end of the week, every week. 
But yes, um, yeah. that's the similarities and differences between the Honda HRU216 and the Honda HRX217. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, can't wait for tomorrow. Oh, I might be. Um, I've got a big my big group of properties to do tomorrow again. Um, our flight run. We've got to leave home by midday apparently. So um, for our flight to Canberra. So um, I'm going to try and knock all those properties out in the morning. So I'll try and get some footage of that. Um, I'd like to. We'll see how we go. I can't make any promises unfortunately because obviously we're going to be in a big rush. I'm probably going to be out the door at 7.30, I'm hoping, just to try and get it done, because, you know, it takes me a good three or so hours to do it, because there's just so much work involved, that's why I'm jealous of all you US guys, because you've got, you know, nice massive open yards, so you can just get, get on a zero turn, you've got very little trimming, and you can just mow them all, and it's super easy, whereas with ours, there's tons of obstacles to mow around. The lady across the road in that street that I do hers sometimes, she wants it mown at a different height, and you know, so like there's there's a lot of differences. I do I do mulch. I'm, I've got them all on mulching, thank God. But you know, still. So I reckon I'm gonna take both mowers out tomorrow. So you'll see the two Hondas running together. I'm probably gonna be on the HRU. Dad's probably gonna be on the HRX. We'll see how good he is. If he's good enough. I don't know, we'll um, put, him on, put him on, um, but he's out all day today, and so is my mum, which is why I'm here doing these videos, um, working, and no one seems to want to catch up with me, so, <laughs> well, that's kind of a lie, um, no, no one's available, no one's available, okay, um, no one's available to catch up with me at the moment, so, I'm just kind of sitting around here playing on my flight simulator, and making these videos because I've, I've literally got nothing else to do guys so um yeah also um what piece of equipment would you guys like me to review next tell me um my equipment list is in the description below it's in every video i've added the hru 216 to it i'll take the hrx 217 off it once i sell that um well it is kind of sold technically speaking because the guys I've accepted a guy's offer, but he's just, I'm waiting for him to come pick it up because he's overseas at the moment. But um, I'll take it off the list once it leaves my, once I stop using it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, have a look through that list. You'll know the ones I've already reviewed. I've reviewed the HRX217, the BG56, the FS94, and uh, I think that might be it. So um, tell me what you'd like to see next. Um, and I'll, I'll do a review. I think it's a bit early to do a review on the HRU216, um, but <clears throat> um, yeah, I will do a review once I get maybe, I don't know, once I get 25 hours on it or something, I'll probably do a review of it. Um, but yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Um, I hope, for those of you wondering why I've got the HRU216 and not a different mower, I hope this video has helped you understand why I bought it. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, tell me, tell me what you'd like to see being reviewed next. So, um, oh, and also, I'll um, see if I can meet up with Cameron in Canberra, and we'll get some footage together there, and um, I guess we'll go from that. So, have a great day, everyone.